front and the, the title on the, the sermon message this morning. It is April 15th, tax day, that dreaded day. And as I was doing research and studying through the week, I was just trying to actually determine scripturally when perhaps the first taxes showed up in scripture. And I found some things, but one of the things that really grabbed my attention in the study is not really about taxes, but it was about the first offering. The first offering in scripture that we see to God. And I thought it might be interesting uh, to just ask you, where does the first offering to God occur in the Bible? Genesis. It does occur in Genesis. Very good. And, and what story is that related to? Is it a financial offering or just any offering? Just any offering. An offering to God. It is in Genesis. Marshall looks like he might know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he's hopefully, <laughs> putting him on the spot for a change, right? He's probably used to it. It's the story of Cain and Abel, right? The first three chapters of Genesis are about the creation, about Garden of Eden, uh, Garden of Eden Adam and Eve, and carries us through chapter three. They leave the garden, and Cain and Abel show up. This is the first offering in Scripture, Cain and Abel. Cain is a farmer. He works the fields. Abel is a shepherd. He takes care of the animals. Cain comes to God with a good harvest, and he gives to God some of the fruits of the field. He offers to God some of the fruits of the field. Abel comes to God, and he offers God the fat portions of the firstborn of his flocks. So in other words... Abel gives God the best of what God has provided to him, whereas Cain kind of gives some of the leftovers, if you will. Of course, we know what happens. God is very pleased with Abel's offering, not so much with Cain's offering. Cain gets angry and jealous, and we also have another first in the Scripture. <laughs> the point of the story is not that Cain's, I mean, Abel's offering is better than Cain's. In, in terms of, you know, the first fat portions of the first of the flock. It's the attitude of the heart when the offering is given. Abel trusts God so much that he gives him the best of what God has provided to him. Whereas Cain is kind of a little reluctant. He just gives what's a little bit left over. So when we come into offering, we're supposed to remember everything God has done to us and be like Cain, that this represents God's blessing to us and we're <coughs> grateful for it and we are willing to give back to the Lord what really is already His. So that was the, the first offering story in the scripture. So as we come into our offering, let's do so with joyful hearts. For all that we have is already God's anyways. And we are just making a statement of how much He loves us and we love Him. Thank you.